Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from the Lost Isles Zoo here on the Zawa Together server. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful Friday, and I am here to bring to you some more Zawa fun. Hopefully this cheers up your Friday, and thank you guys for in the comments section sharing all of your good stories and your happy memories and your happy things you do to make yourself happy. They did cheer me up a little bit, actually. I am flying suddenly. Look at that. Like I said, it's easy to fly in this new version. <laughs> I don't actually mean to. I actually was just trying to just jump. <laughs> <laughs> all right so but yeah thank you for in the comments section last week for putting down all your sh uh, your your shared experiences really did cheer me up a little bit you guys are pretty awesome uh, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of building all right but first I gotta I gotta apologize for something last week I talked about how we were gonna build like a root or something like that or some overgrown foliage coming over here like over the across the top of it I never did that because I, I'm a big old dut to and completely forgot to in fact I'm not gonna even really get to it today either because I want to get on to doing another exhibit but I'm sensing there's probably going to need to be a live stream coming up here soon so I can knock out some of that stuff yes hmm interesting yes okay but what are we going to be doing today now today is gonna to be kind of fun because we're gonna be building an exhibit I got a comment in uh, one of the videos suggesting that I make the exhibits this season larger because some of the animals looked a little cramped last season and you're absolutely correct uh, because last season I was trying to crush like 60 some animals into a valley but Zawa Evolved doesn't have as many animals as its predecessor so I actually don't have as many animals to fill this large area okay so uh, if you look at the <laughs> <laughs> these two islands here I got a lot of space now the volcano itself not much is gonna be built on top of the volcano because that's a whole different animal okay that's a whole different thing I got to do a lot of terraforming on that but around the volcano and up along the sides of it there's plenty of space to put uh, animals but there's just not that many animals in fact uh, can I yeah uh, see this thing real quick because I think this like shows them right here this is so many animals there are and some of them are like birds you know like yeah, they can go into an aviary so it's like one exhibit and some of them I'm probably never gonna find I mean some of these are kind of tricky to find uh, the capybara I actually have that but uh, I, even if I found all of them, what is that, like uh, nine each? So there's, what, like 37, 30, there's 40 animals total? That's 20 less than last season completely. Uh, so yeah, that's that's quite a few less. So I will have a lot of space to build, and I will have a lot more room, or a lot or less animals to actually build and fit exhibits in for. So yeah, that does mean that we're going to make the exhibits a little bit bigger, starting today actually. So in today's episode, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding the zebra exhibit. Now I could throw it in a tree and call it the Tribra exhibit, but I think we're going to stick with just the zebra exhibit. And I'm thinking about slapping it right here, okay? Now, oh, ooh, 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 I forgot. All right, so uh, I got a um, I got a map designed, drawn up, another rough sketch of what I'm going to be doing. Check this out. Here it is. Wah. All right, so that's that's the game plan for the season. All right, so and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting with the zebra exhibit. Now that goes right here, okay? Now that means I have to remove this <laughs> this beacon. I just moved it here like last week. Now I got to move it away again. Put it somewhere else. And I also have to start outlining the area for the zebras themselves, which I'm guessing is going to be starting roughly. Let's just slap down torch line here or something like that. Roughly right about here. And it's going to be extending back to, which means I'm going to have to terraform this ground down. Ooh, that kind of sucks. And then <laughs> it's going to extend back to the more, the bigger I make the exhibit, the less I have to terraform the land. So it's beneficial for me to make a large exhibit. Um, but probably right about there. I can probably work with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then over blah, 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 right about here. I need to leave some room though, because uh, if you notice on the map, the reindeer exhibit is going to go like over there. So what if I just kind of have it go like so, and then connect back over here. That would be a very large exhibit for the zebra. Now, I only have one zebra captured so far. Yeah, so yeah, torch line. So the path is going to be coming down this way. All right, I got to carve that out still. And then the zebra exhibit is going to encompass all of this. All right, so that's a huge area. That'll give them plenty of space to roam around. Oof, that's a lot of work. A lot of blocks that need to be done. But... What did I just punch? I just punched a oh, rose bush. <laughs> I didn't even see that thing. <laughs> did he eat that over there to despawn into oblivion? Uh, but it all starts with me creating the outline. Now the cliff edge is going to kind of come down. It's not going to come down and come down here completely flat. So what I want to do is I want to raise the the path here by one block, coming up this way, and then this exhibit is going to have a cliff back wall to it to hold all the zebras in place. So I need this to be raised up, you know, at least a few blocks for the elevation even back here, which is gonna suck, but <laughs> I'm gonna need to have that happen. 
Uh, and it's going to continue all the way over to this side here. Now the path itself, I'm planning on coming down right towards me here and then kind of curving to the left a little bit. And then over there, we're going to put the reindeer exhibit later on. And then the path to the rest of the zoo is going to continue on that way towards where the beacon is. And it's going to continue past over there uh, to where the volcano is. But I got to be taking a nap here because creepers be creeping. Sun's already set. Look at that. I need to, I need to be sleeping. All right. The night has passed. The day is new. And I think it's time that we get to work on creating that cliff face around the edge of this exhibit and putting in the path here in front. It is time, people for another time lapse. All right, now I know that doesn't look like much. Okay, that looks probably pretty basic, pretty standard stuff, right? I got the path right here, and then I got a, uh, a wall in the background there. Now that should keep the zebras in. It's also not detailed or anything yet, so there's still quite a bit of work to be done there. Uh, Happy Tiger actually joined uh, the server here while I was doing this, so shout out to him. Uh, I believe that's my neighbor. Is he over here? No, he's not over here right now, but I believe that's my neighbor. Uh, but all right, we're we're on to building the zebra exhibit now. I don't need this to be completely flat, but I don't want it to be like massive hills either. So I'm probably going to raise up a portion in the back by one block. A little dip and maybe have like a little peninsula of another hill kind of sticking out right here. And have that dip kind of sway down all the way in front right here, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I'm going to start off by just putting down a layer of stone representing the elevation change. And then that's also going to affect the background wall just a little bit to see if uh, they, uh, they get out of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they have the zebras can get out of here. So uh, I'm sitting watching through the supercuts. Oh, nice. All right. Nice. The uh, uh, in case you guys didn't know uh, season two. Oops. I actually changed the map somehow and I, I did that on accident. I, oh, there you go. Uh, season two of the supercuts is now on the channel. So if you guys want to go rewatch the Cerro Gordo supercut with all it's 40 and a half hours, people really all three parts total 40 and a half hours. It's a lot. Uh, it's on the channel now. Just check the uh, Check the, check the Supercuts playlist and you'll find it there. All right, but uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to raise up the land right here just a little bit. And this is going to be, uh, let's just kind of eyeball this. Let's start like right here, okay? Maybe right here. That's better. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to raise this portion up. 
Oh, leg spike right there. Wow, okay, that was a, that was a doozy. Uh, we're gonna raise this portion up to right about there. So that's gonna be all raised up, and then this peninsula, it might stick out a little bit farther. Hold on one second, let's, let's bring that out, like right about here. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then this part over here, like I said, a little peninsula-shaped uh, extension that juts out, uh, that's also raised up, and I ran out of stone. Here we go. Uh, that juts out a little bit and continues back this way or so. I'm just eyeballing things up, so I don't know if I like that. It needs to jut out farther. That's what it needs. Boy, that looks like a hot mess. All right, I'm gonna fill in this area with stone because remember, this is this is just the underground part. This isn't actually uh, the terrain itself. So I just need to raise this up. So I'm gonna fill this area in, and then we're gonna get to working on the actual land that goes on top of it. All right, there we go. Ta-da! Now I used dirt because I realized as I was filling it in that stone is kind of valuable to me because that's what I'm making the entire terrain out of. So I should probably stop using that. It'll be just less I have to collect later. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and line the front of this with some cobble. Uh, or not cobble, some uh, some bricks here, some stone bricks, because this is going to be where the fence actually is to keep the zebras in place. Uh, don't really want them escaping, but I don't mind them coming right on up to the uh, to the uh, the patrons that are walking through, the guests here at the park, because uh, they can they can get nice and close to zebras without dying. I think I don't actually know much about how safe zebras are, <laughs> but then again, anyone who's ever toured any of my zoos knows that it's eh, it's not really all that safe all the time. So you know we're gonna say that that's probably good enough. All right, so now that we have that outline there, that's where the uh, that's where the fence actually squid backpack. This is I'm kind of doing this backwards. Let's grab some steel fences right here, and let's actually put those in place like like so. So this is gonna give people a very large viewing area for the zebras too. So this is a large. Exhibit. There's, I only have one zebra. Now, if I if I end up catching another one later on, I'll throw that in here too, because this is definitely large enough for two zebras to fit in here. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to leave it at one. Something's not really jiving very well with that uh, the terrain change here. Now, I'm going to pop this off real quick, and what we're going to do is we're going to do that, and we're going to do that, and then I'll have them for later on when I need to put them back. But something's not jiving very well with uh, with the way that this terrain is. I kind of want to... Yeah, I want to extend this one kind of along the back a little bit farther so that it comes out to like right about here-ish. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. Yeah, got the little added on part back there. Curve that out just a little bit more. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now it's time to start actually filling in some of these blocks. In fact, you know, as I'm looking at this, I like how that looks. I mean, yeah, the zebra can technically climb up on here and then he's just kind of... There, oh, I can fly over this. Oh, can I Can I just jump over this? I can. I don't have jump boost. Did that change? Can animals, like, jump out of this thing? I need... Hmm. Hmm. What can I use as an experiment? Hey, goat, come here. I got a little something, something for you here. I need you to try to jump out of this. Please let me know how that works. Now they sound like sheep. Do they do they respond? Oh, oh, he's trying. Yeah, they can. Why would they change that? Before you used to not be able to jump out of steel bars. Well, that changes things. That there's absolutely no barrier. <laughs> absolutely no barrier for the zebra to stay in. Then why would they change the steel fences? I don't get it. Why? Ooh, 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 this really changes things. Yeah, that's a problem. This looks so smooth, too. I love the way this looks, but it no longer works. More and more I play Zawa Evolved, the less I'm actually liking the mod, not gonna lie. I liked Zawa Rebuilt, it was much more polished. Obviously, this isn't the finished product for Zawa Evolved, so if there's any people working on Zawa Evolved, the steel fences, please change them back to actually fences where you can't jump over them. These things look so good for lining exhibits, but we can't use them like this, otherwise the animals can just jump out. So now the question is, is how to keep them in there. Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. It's not a good one, but I have one. What if we... Ch Ooh, will that work? Hold on one second. Will that work? What if I pop these things out here and we replace those with those? Would that keep... Yes, that would. Okay, that would work. It's a makeshift way around it, and it's kind of lame that we have to do it. And it doesn't look this uh, that good from this side. But... It would work. We can replace all this with stone bricks, and then, it, then it's a block and a half they have to jump up. Okay, yeah, let's do that real quick. All right, that's been put back. Now, 
The reason why that's kind of a big deal is because that also is going to change an idea that I had. Now, I put all these blocks down so I could raise the elevation up here. So I was going to put blocks on top of them and blocks right here to represent that. And it was going to be even ground with the, uh, the people walking right here. But I'm going to have to change that because I need the zebras to be on this level right here. So which means this has to be the ground and this has to be the new elevation change. Which means all of this stuff I just did, I got to undo. So I will be right back. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> okay, that took a little while, but I've lowered everything by one block. <laughs> it's all completely lowered now, so it's the same shape, same everything. It's just that it's it's down one. So now we can actually add a ground in here, and it should be at the proper elevation then. Speaking of the ground, we are going to have to create kind of a dry, arid, savanna-esque, custom savanna biome here. Now, I've done these in the past. And I like how they turn out, and I kind of want to stick to it. There's going to be a lot of sand, a lot of coarse dirt, sprinkling of gravel in there too. And we might explore a little bit of fun stuff here, because there is a new block in here, and I think it's called Red Rock. Red Rock. This stuff, yeah. Oh, you can actually make it. Nifty. I actually think I collected some of this, and it's somewhere in my storage area. <laughs> I'm thinking about going and grabbing some of that and seeing if I can't sprinkle that in here as well. So, we have we have to go grab some, there's some orcas in the water right there. Um, we have to go and grab some blocks that we're going to be using in this uh, pallet here. So yeah, sand for sure, because that's it's going to be a big one. Um, red rock I want to sprinkle in here as well. As well as coarse dirt. And I don't have any of the cool like dry grass looking things. Uh, I don't even really know where I can find some of that stuff. Probably right here. <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. I haven't found a, found the biome that has like the dry grass yet, but I also... I mean, I've done a fair amount of exploring, but I haven't I haven't found exactly what I'm looking for in yet. So I gotta work with what I got. Alright, so yeah. We'll, we'll stick with grass, path blocks, sand, gravel a little bit, coarse dirt quite a bit, and then this red rock sprinkled in there too. All right, let me go grab that stuff real fast. Oh, I actually had the red rock in my uh, in my backpack. How about them apples? All right, so we just need sand really. Should we have some of that here? Where I'm gonna grab all of it. I'm gonna need to go grab more sand. I probably am gonna need more than that just on this build alone. All right, and then we're gonna need, do we have ground blocks in here? We do have a fair amount of ground blocks. We might wanna grab just, uh, or I'm thinking grass blocks. Grass blocks, we might wanna grab just a couple more stacks just to squeeze in here too. And then we have a little bit of gravel, which we don't need a whole lot of that. So let's just top off that uh, that stack. Where's the gravel? Where is it? Oh, I'm, I'm down a chest of cobblestone. That's where it is. All right, so we got the gravel. And then we just need coarse dirt. Bat backpack, where are you? I need you desperately in my life. That is not even close to enough. Let's grab ourselves an extra. Actually, let's grab two of these. Two stacks of those, and let's grab ourselves some dirt. Two stacks of those, and let's make ourselves some, uh, some coarse dirt here. Make it a bam. All right, now that is something a little bit more like it. Let's just squirt the most of that back into there to clear up some inventory space. All right, now let's get to placing some blocks. Bink. All right, so let's start off with this area right down here, the lower area. And we don't have to dig anything out because we already just did. So it's just a matter of placing them now. So I'm going to sprinkle in probably the dirt first. Well, actually, hold on, wait, time out. I should actually do the higher elevations first because I'm going to screw up this whole thing if I fill all this in. I won't be able to see where the elevation changes. Okay, we're starting with the higher end first. Let's just start putting in some a whole bunch of sand. All right, that probably looks weird as can be because it's just a bunch of sand blocks placed. But trust me, it's going to look good in the end. Let's go do that over here too. Okay, so that row is done. Now, I think I'm going to finish the top part here before I work on the lower area so that I don't lose the shape with the elevation change. So the next block that we want to add is probably, I'm going to guess, the grass block. Let's go ahead and grab some of that because we're going to need a whole bunch of that to fill in these areas too. And this one I'm actually going to be putting in quite a bit because some of this I'm going to leave grass, some of it I'm going to make path blocks. So i got to really actually fill in a lot of this. I mean, to be fair, actually, what I should do is I should actually be switching and putting in the coarse dirt. Yeah, let's see that. I'm going to put in the coarse dirt, and we're going to spread this out kind of evenly. And then uh, and then I'll, I'll dot in the gravel afterwards, and then I'll just fill in the rest with grass. Okay, wow, this looks like a big old mess. Not going to lie. <laughs> this looks like an absolute mess. But let's go ahead and grab some gravel, and what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle this in very sparingly uh, throughout the uh, the mess that we have going on here. 
Okay, I think that's about it. Now, I'm actually change one thing up here real quick. I am going to grab some... Nothing in there, actually. The, let's check the dump chest here. I'm going to grab some stone. Some regular smooth stone. I am going to dot this in here as well. Kind of around here, too. Uh, maybe even a little bit heavier than the actual gravel. And that's going to represent, obviously, the stone and stuff that's underneath here. Kind of poking through. I think that might look pretty good. Okay, now the rest of this is just getting grass put into it for right now. We'll fix it and put path blocks in there as needed, but for right now, it's just getting a whole bunch of grass smashed in here. Kind of did this one backwards, not going to lie. I usually put the grass in first and then add all the other blocks to it uh, afterwards, but, you know, I felt like mixing it up today. Let's see how this actually turns out when all, all the grass is actually put in. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, but do you guys remember earlier in this episode, like, probably only a few minutes ago, really, uh, when I made that big to-do about, uh, about Red Rock. Yeah, because I sure didn't. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> All right, let's grab the uh, ground blocks here for a second, and we're going to actually grab some of this out of here. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace that stone that I was just bragging about here. Oh, I actually forgot a couple pieces back here. That stone I was just bragging about back here, uh, or earlier, I'm going to replace that with Red Rock. There we go. Now, that's looking pretty good. I still have to add the path block, so some of this grass is going to be like matted down like that. I'm going to go through and do that, do that real quick and probably take a power nap because it looks like it's going to be nighttime pretty soon and creepers be creeping and all. But uh, I do want to mat down quite a bit of this grass. I do want to leave some of it though because i got to get the vegetation in here. So we're just going to kind of go around we're going to be sporadically just matting down some of this to make it into a path block. And then we'll be almost ready to do the bottom part right here. i got an idea for something I want to put in the bottom right here. Oh yeah, this is looking like a dry savanna kind of plains area here. Once you get the tall grass in there, it's going to look real good, actually. Alright, so we have to do the same thing basically down here to start off, but I'm thinking about putting like a river or water feature in here. Uh, zebras are actually a little bit taller, so I don't have to really worry about them getting smashed into the ground. But, uh, or, or drawn in the water. Uh, <laughs> smashed in the ground, what the heck? <laughs> How would a zebra get smashed in Sorry, my brain, I'm tired today. I am so sorry. All right, anyway, we're going to do the same thing down here and get the same terrain added down here, except for it's going to be a little bit greener since it is closer to the water. In fact, as a result, we're actually going to do that with grass. We're gonna, just going to fill this all in with grass for right now. Okay, grass has been filled in. Now, this is obviously is not going to stay the same, but I want to add in, like, a little bit of a river-esque looking thing, like right here. So it's kind of like an elongated pond, you know? Something for the, uh, the zebras to get some water from, or zebra in this case, I only have one, but something for the zebra to get some water from. Maybe like a teardrop shaped kind of thing. Kind of like that. That might be good enough the way it is. How does that look? Does that look absolutely terrible? It's not, I mean, it's not bad. Actually, you know what, maybe we will avoid making it more teardrop shaped and we'll actually fill this back in just a little bit along the back. And it'll just be a small pond, less, or more so a pond than a river. Like that. Just like a little bit of water, like right there in the middle. Now that's not deep enough for the, for the zebra to drown, so it should be fine, air quotes. Man, I hope it is. But yeah, something something along the lines of that will be the shape of the, uh, the little pond that's right there. And that'll give it plenty of water. And now we just have to fix up the terrain to look uh, similar to what it is up here. Alright, there we go. We got the land put in. However, it looks as though we have a couple of early visitors to the zoo. Now, they are not welcome here. The zoo is not open yet. This is trespassing. So, we are going to have to deal with the trespassers accordingly. Now, this guy right here, he could be a problem. So, we're going to give him a little love tap. And then we're going to see if his own teammates will actually kill him for us. There we go. Okay, get out of here, guys. The zoo's closed. Be gone. Oh, he dropped his crossbow. Don't mind if I do. Let's see if we can't uh, grab... I got so much crap in my inventory. <laughs> Let's see if we can't grab that real fast. What does it got on it? Multi-shot, quick charge, and unbreaking three. Wow, that's actually a pretty good crossbow. <laughs> if I was into using crossbows, I would absolutely be using that. I'm not, so I won't be, but it's cool to have it. All right, so back to this, you know, what we were working on before we were so rudely interrupted. Now, we still need to finish the uh, bottom of the water here. Now, because this is like a dry, arid environment... I don't really want to do what I normally do uh, and uh, and put a lot of mud and stuff in there because this is going to be pretty dry in this area. So instead what we're going to do, actually let's take this coarser out of there because that's not supposed to be in there at all. What we're going to do is take what little bit of gravel we have there, made ground backpack. Is there more in here? There is more in here. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a nice little sprinkling of coarse dirt, gravel, a little bit of red rock, and probably some smooth stone in the bottom of this to represent the bottom of the pond. 
There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, we do have to add the water still, and I believe I have a water bucket. No, I've been using that to catch animals. Actually, I don't have a water bucket. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves a bucket made here. Now, luckily, I live next to an ocean, so I know a place where I can get some water. I am getting raided? Oh, how? I didn't I didn't kill the guy. It was somebody else. Oh, maybe he died on thorns. Okay, new plan. I'm getting raided. All right, let's get some of this food here. It should be a pretty easy raid because I only had one thing. Oh, yeah, there they are. I only had one uh, one curse of the thing. I didn't even realize that it was this guy. Ow. Oh, hold on. I got to actually be careful here because I, uh, I don't have my, my chest plate on, which I probably should grab. All right, I don't have a lot of arrows either. All right, that's all those guys. Now, there was a uh, Vindicator someplace, but I had to run away from him for a second because I was kind of getting beat up pretty bad. Let's get my hotbar ready here for an actual battle so I can actually get out of there quickly. There he is. He's over here. Excuse me, mister. You want to stay away from the reindeer? Thanks. Got him. All right, so that's the first wave. They're in the exhibit. Come on, people. Well, I know one way. the only place they can get out of here. Hey, Johnny, you stay on the other side of that fence. <laughs> See if I can sleep before the next wave shows up. <laughs> Alright, slept successfully. I really do kind of want to go get my chest plate, but I just don't have time. There is a war beast here. That's yeah, nerve wracking. Dive bombing. Ooh, did I just hit the reindeer? Oh, I almost hit the reindeer. That would have been bad. Okay, the beast is down, so these guys should all be pretty easy then. All right, so that wave is done. Now that I'm over here, let me go grab my chest plate real fast. Uh, can I have that, please? Thank you. All right, get rid of the elytra, put on the chest plate, fully armored up. They can bring it now. Look at all of them on the radar above me. Oh, I'm gonna go right into the thick of it when I get up here. Oh, there's witches. There's there's bad things all around. I need the goat not to die too. That'd be great. Oh yeah, the netherite's feeling so good right now. Excuse me, witch, I need you to not be here. Get out of here. You too, witch, over here. Oh, you got a Vindicator by you. You know, let's back up for a second. Okay, Vindicator dealt with. You're dealt with. You're dealt with. Oh, that that, re that reindeer is completely loose, by the way. <laughs> Slowness, really? Poison, really? I should actually, I think I got milk in one of my backpacks. I should just drink that real fast, but I don't know which backpack it is. This one right here. All right, there we go. Handle the poison and stuff. This is actually a pretty powerful raid. I, I thought I only had like tier one. <laughs> there's war beasts and there's there's witches and all sorts of crazy stuff. Okay, the war beast is down. This is what I get for letting guests show up at the zoo early. Oh, right, here come the vexes. I just don't want them to kill my reindeer. You with the enchanted bow. Enough with that flaming stuff. It doesn't hurt me anyway. Yo, vex, you want to go? Haha, <laughs> got you. Got you two. Got you three. Is that all? No, there's another one. What raid was this? I didn't have the thing. I had them shoot their leader. Wow, why? Oh, hi, you guys are all right here. Wow, that's a little awkward. I didn't have that many arrows to begin with. <laughs> hmm. Look out, cat. We got some stuff in the way. Okay, the war beast is coming. Gotta move again. You know, these witches might be throwing splash potions of healing on them. Oh, never mind. I... Sweeping edge. Okay, I still have three arrows and a dream, so we can still pull this off. Excuse me, Vex. Got him. There we go. Is that it? Is that the final raid? That is. That is. It's over. Victory. I win. I win. Vexes, didn't you get the memo? I won. Now, what was I doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Building a zebra exhibit. <laughs> All right. That was a little nuts. Um, that was a pretty powerful wave for just a regular curse, like, one. You know, when you kill one of the captains, you get that kind of, that, that whatever that debuff is that causes the raids to happen. That was only a tier one, but that seemed a little harder than that, so I don't know what was up with that. But, let's eat some chicken and contemplate that for a second. Let's get back to actually doing some building here. We're gonna have to fill this up with water. I should have some water, yeah, in my backpack here. Let's just grab that. I didn't even need to go over there and trigger that raid. I had it in my backpack the entire time. Go me. All right, the water has been put in place. And with this uh, shader pack, that's something weird there. With this uh, with this texture pack and shader pack, the water looks amazing. <laughs> I love it. All right, so let's just dump this back in here. 
and then we'll throw that in there for right now. All right, so with the water in place, I think we are ready to move on to vegetation. Okay, so plants. Let's talk about plants for a second. Now, some of these I need to take out of here because I don't really need them. Uh, maybe we should start with trees. Let's start with trees, actually. Acacia, obviously, is going to be the uh, pick here. And I'm thinking one, two, maybe three. Maybe three acacia trees, maybe four. Let's see how many uh, acacia saplings I have, if any at all. Acacia, 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 acacia. Do I have any acacia saplings whatsoever? I don't. Oh, boy. Okay, well... That means I have a mission to go on. Instead of planting this tree, I have to find acacia. Now, where, oh, where is this stuff? I, I know there's a lot of, like, drier biomes near spawn. So, possibly down here? I need to find an actual, like, honest-to-God savanna. This is a Baboa savanna, or Baobab savanna region, which is kind of close. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. Shrublands, that's not it either. Oh, man. Do we have any acacia wood anywhere? This might take me a second, people. Let me go look around a little bit for an acacia biome. You know, I wonder if in these uh, baobab uh, savanna biomes, there are savanna trees mixed in with those things. Because if you look, if you look carefully, well, we don't really see any here. And that other one, though, I could kind of see them. But uh, if you look carefully, see this, how there's like these green ones, but then there's also these like other ones that are acacia leaves, they said, if you, if you go over them. If you look over them, there's acacia. Okay, so we got a head, which is that, what, southeast? Southeast, due southeast. Let's go get those things. All right, this is the biome. Yep, I see them. Okay, this is the biome I was thinking of. Now, there should, there's entirely possibly boars in this area, so let's get the sword out. I might have to kill some pigs before they kill me. But yeah, this is what I was thinking about. Here's an acacia tree. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to put good old vanilla acacia trees in here because I think that they look pretty good for the savannah region. After all, that's where they're found. <laughs> Alright, let's chop some of this down and see if we can't get ourselves a couple of saplings while we're here. Alright, we got ourselves 10 acacia saplings. That should do pretty good. We only need four really for the exhibit and a couple extra wouldn't hurt either. So let's head back to the zoo. Coming in hot. Oh, bad time for a leg spike. Almost face planted into the ground there. Alright, let's grab some bone meal here. Probably going to need a little bit of extra too. Uh, we're going to get some of these trees growing before the creepers come out. Uh, let's grab the acacia saplings. Now, I'm thinking three over here, maybe two over here. I don't know. Let's just slap one down and see what happens. Let's grow that and see what that turns into. Not terrible. Not exactly great. Not terrible. Throw another one down right there and grow that. Okay, that works. Yeah, definitely three over here. So I put one, like, maybe right here. Yep, and then grow that as well. All right, cool, cool. All right, so I'm going to need to be taking a power nap here because creepers are definitely going to be creeping. And then we'll plant some more trees on the other side. All right, now that it's daytime and the creepers are not going to blow me up, let's go ahead and get that growing. I might have to take that one down, but we'll leave it for right now. When I get to doing the terraforming on that part, I might that might be in the way, so I might change that a little bit later. Let's put one down right here and grow that as well. Okay, good. And then can we get one a little bit closer to like the, the general audience over here? Like maybe down here on this level right here. Can we put one right there? Yeah, yeah. All right. So what does that look like from like the viewing area? How does that look? It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Still leaves a lot of room for us to put down like custom bushes and stuff and other vegetation. But that looks pretty good for the trees in the area, I'm thinking. This looks this is starting to look like a pretty solid zebra exhibit. But now it's on to the uh, plants. We got to add plants. And I think we're going to start with going to the bat backpack. And adding some bushes in here. So we got uh, some brown birch leaves that we picked up recently. And probably some good old-fashioned oak leaves as well. We'll make this look pretty cool. Actually, I think that there's a biome uh, nearby that has... I think it's the same place where we got the brown leaves. Where they have yellow leaves. Oh, actually, probably all this big spot where there's a bunch of yellow stuff. I might zip out there and grab some aspen leaves, I think is what they are. Because those will probably look pretty good in here, too. Just on our way out here to go pick up some aspen leaves. And I noticed that... Captain Craig is online. Thought I'd swing on by and say hello. Looks like he's got his startup set up here. He's got him, he tamed himself a wolf. Pigs? How nice. Where's the guy? There he is. He doesn't know I'm here. I'm sneaking up on him. Hi! Boo! <laughs> Alright, off to get some aspen leaves. Alright, here we are. There are a ton of aspen leaves here. Okay, there's a lot of yellow leaves. So I don't think they're going to mind if I just take a tree or two down here. Okay, my shears already broke. Okay, 
I got like three and a half stacks. That should probably be pretty good. Let's get back to the zoo. And landed it. All right, here we are, back at the zoo. Now, we got some aspen leaves, so we can actually, you know, plant those things around here. Bat backpack, come back here. I need you desperately. Let's actually stash a stack of them in there. We'll grab us like a stack of, of each type of leaf here that I'm going to be putting in here. Now, the green ones, obviously, are uh, the livelier ones, and then the uh, aspen ones are medium, and then, of course, the brown ones are the dead leaves. So, let's get to putting down a few... Ooh, leg spike. Let's get to put, putting down a few, uh, like, shrubs in the area. Just kind of like small bush patches here or there. Uh, kind of sporadic, not too, uh, not too common, not too... Like, I, I don't want to make this look like it's overgrown or anything. All right, there we go. So they look like kind of like dried up uh, bushes that are kind of need some water, you know? <laughs> Makes it look very arid and dry in this area. Now we can actually go ahead and stash the rest of these things. We don't really need them anymore. Not for this exhibit anyway. And uh, and then we're gonna have to move on to the actual plants and foliage. Now we got about another hour of daylight here before the creepers be creeping. So let's see if I can't pick out some stuff in that time. What can we put in here to make it look dry and arid? Okay, these yellow bromelades, I don't know if these are supposed to be like near water or something but oh these things right here the golden barrel cactuses i don't think it's going to hurt the zebra at all either prairie grass is a definite one yep uh oh i also did get desert grass and dead grass here too i picked up a bunch of that so let's grab both of those things out here let's actually stash the acacia saplings in here for just a little bit uh no toadstools not going to want them anywhere mm, we might just start with this right here and see where we get this thing might this thing might get thrown in here too sure why not and dead bushes yep dead bushes for sure Creepers be creeping, so I be sleeping. Good morning. All right, let's plant some bushes here. All right, we got 12 of these uh, golden barrel cactuses here, so I kind of need to spread them out a little bit. These things don't hurt me, right? Let me take off my uh, boots for a second here. No, they don't hurt me. Okay, good to know. Good to know. All right, let's spread these things out a little bit. I don't want to have them be a very dominant plant around here. Just They, they got to accent the area nicely just a little bit. Okay, good. That's plenty of them. All right, so let's uh, let's get to putting down probably some of these guys here. Uh, Agavoid. I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but that's how I'm, what I'm going with. These have to also be planted on sand, it would seem. Now, I actually did grab these things, I believe, in a desert, so it sort of makes sense that these things would also need to be planted on sand. <laughs> All right, Agavoid. If that's how you even say it. Goodbye. You've done well. All right, let's move on to something else here, like some prairie grass. We're going to see if we can't... This can't go on sand, right? It can't go on... Yeah, coarse dirt. Okay, good. We're going to plant this in patches if we can, like that, okay? So I, 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 there'll be a couple bits of it just kind of off on its own or so, but I do want to keep this mainly in like what looks like to be somewhat of patches. So I'm going to sprinkle this in here. BRB, Captain Craig. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. I want to try to keep this, like I said, in somewhat of like little mini patches if I can. Okay, I actually used all of that prairie gr uh, grass there. Do I have any more of that? I might have to go grab some more of that. I'm pretty sure that stuff is located right up in here because this is a, a prairie region, so I can always go snag more of it. But that's an entire stack I used in there. And it actually looks pretty good. Definitely adds to the arid-looking environment, the dry kind of place. All right, so then we also have uh, this dry, uh, this desert grass and the dead grass. Now, the dead grass, I don't want to put any of this like down near the water because that doesn't make as much sense. So we'll actually sprinkle this in, probably on like some of the grass or some of the sand occasionally. And we'll just spread that out, kind of on the upper section and parts that are farther away from the uh, from the water. All right, that's enough dead grass. Now, as far as the desert grass, this is actually going to be down here near the water's edge because it obviously is getting enough hydration to still be alive. So we're going to sprinkle this all in down here, right on the water. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, let's get the plants backpack out here again and just stash those things away. And now we're down to just the dead bushes. Good old dead foliage. <laughs> things that didn't make it. <laughs> let's, let's just dot this in here kind of heavily, actually, because obviously this is supposed to be an arid and dry area. So we're going to end up having quite a bit of brush that doesn't quite make it. You know, it doesn't look that bad. All right, let's stash the dead bushes here. And uh, I think we can probably move on to actually, here, let me grab that whole plants backpack because sometimes I need to just do short grass and bone meal doesn't like me, it's not my friend. Oh, actually, hold on, prickly pear cacti. We can actually throw this in here too. Just the occasional one here there. Again, I don't think this, yeah, let's take all this off. I don't think this hurts me, so it shouldn't hurt the zebra. All right, so we're gonna throw that back on. All right, so we're gonna dot these in here. Again, sparingly, because I mean, cacti are, although they're cool, they're not, uh, they, they, they're not like everywhere in the desert. So let's just <laughs> throw them. And this isn't really a desert, remember. This is supposed to be just a dry, savanna-esque plains kind of thing. And let's uh, throw one right there. Welcome back, uh, Captain Craig there. 
Uh, let's just throw this in here. Remember, if uh, if you are interested in joining the server, $5 patrons of mine actually get whitelisted on the server, and you can come and play and build your own zoo along with me and tour this place all you want. So just, you know, I'm trying to blow up anything. No creepers allowed. All right, let's stash another one, like, right there. All right, perfect. That's enough for cacti. All right, let's grab the bone meal, because we are almost done with this. And we are going to make uh, about that much. There we go. Yeah, we'll probably need more. All right, let's go through and start adding a lot of tall grass and stuff in, in various parts. And, and uh, tall grass, are these flowers? Nope, those are going bye-bye. Uh, now, this is an example of where I wanted something shorter, so I'm going to have to use the uh, place it myself, because for some reason, like, this is a tall one, for some reason, it just doesn't want to do that. Like, no, I'm not going to be able to get a short one there, cheaper. All right, there we go. <laughs> there we go. All the tall grass has been put in. I think that looks really good. All right, now it's still missing one thing, and I need to squid back back desperately in my life for that. Stash some of this away. Let's make some room here, and let's put uh, this thing in there. All right, what we need in the squid backpack is buttons. All right, let's put some stone buttons in here. Make it look all nice and uh, rocky. Well, it's not really rocky. It's mainly just pebbles on the ground. Okay, the buttons have been added. Um, everything's been added, I believe. That's it. I think that's the first real big uh, finished exhibit here at the Lost Isles, okay? The the zebra exhibit. Let me know what you guys think, all right? Down in the comment section, I'd like to know. Let's actually put these things in place so we can actually see what it looks like like when it's done done. Like that, bam. <clears throat> all right, so there's still a lot of terraforming I need to do here and stuff, and obviously right here this needs to be filled in. There's a lot of work. A lot of work that I'm gonna either do between episodes or in an upcoming live stream. So, but this is the zebra exhibit. I'm thinking maybe uh, naming them Trebra, tree but I'm not, not too sure. That's kind of up to you guys, so. If you guys could, go down in the comment section. I have one zebra, but put two names because I want to know, you know, backup name in case I get another zebra between now and then. So let me know what your best zebra names are, and we're going to stash that in here. So, alrighty guys, I'm going to get going. So thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode of Zawa. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful week and uh, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. I know uh, this week was significantly better for me. So thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I see a flower right back there behind my head that I need to go get. I'll get that here in a little bit. But thank you guys for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will see you guys next week. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Hit that like button before you go. It helps me out a ton. Alright, I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye!